Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Now I'm gonna go around this upper portion here and start exploring that. Well I should say these upper ledge portions here. I'm just going around clockwise again as it's been my pattern lately and just kind of keep following that for the sake of organization. And now I got that I got the stuff in that duder in the last parts. Yeah, in the lockup, so I'm just gonna leave that. Um, now, there's a tricky jiggy to get down in one of these pools because of the presence of shrapnel there. Uh, there's also a mumble token, I guess. Oh, shrapnel, get away, get away. Okay, gimme, 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 there we go. You gotta, your best bet is to lead them to one side and then go to the other and then jump out, hopefully. At the, yeah, it, he's, he's pretty quick. <laughs> and they do a lot of damage, so. Be mindful of that. Alright, I don't know why I'm collecting those. I'm good now, and why did I do that when I should be doing this? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that bounced into me. That was not my fault this time. <laughs> uh, now, I'm gonna hop up here, and I think this is the one with the jiggy coming up into another pool, like right over, over, over here, if I recall correctly. Yes, 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 this is the one. I, re I recall this very, very much. Let me, let me, let me, please, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna try and escape my explosive fate. Yes! Alright. I'm also gonna go down those stairs eventually. <laughs> I would like to go over to this edge first, because there's a Jinjo over there. Don't forget the Jinjos. Gots to get those Jinjos. There we go. Four out of five. And also, down this way... Uh, there's a Jiggy. You're not <laughs> normally supposed to do it this way. It's just faster to do it this way, because you have to come back to avoid Snacker the Shark anyway. So, yeah. I wanted to just show you the way back here. Because uh, this is normally, yeah, that you'd have to come through this way. It's not any more difficult going there than it is coming back, in my opinion, so that's why I'm just showing it this way. Oh, shoot! I didn't mean to do the. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's gonna be shark trouble. That's gonna be shark trouble. Oh, you're stuck. Good, good, good. Oh, um, as long as I'm down here, I might as well. There is. There is a. Uh, uh, extra life down through here if you care about them in this game. Uh, yeah, right down somewhere. Somewhere there it is. Right there. And I have no idea where the shark is. <laughs> I just kind of lost it. That is working in my favor though. Um, there's also a honeycomb piece out in the water, like on a box or above a box somewhere. But it's pretty tricky to get without getting hurt by the shark if you don't fly to it, so I'm gonna save that until a little bit later on. And- Oh, no, 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 no! I did not mean to do that. <laughs> well, um, I'm stranded. Sorta, of, kinda. Well, not that stranded. Um, these stairs are weird. Like, sometimes you'll go up them and sometimes you won't. Like, I, I don't understand why it's like that. But I just recommend jumping on them for the most part to get, to get up them. <laughs> I don't know why they work that way, but they work that way. Don't worry, I'll be back to the other spot in just a second here. Uh, you know, the spot that I was actually gonna climb up before. I'm just gonna go, as long as I fell down, flop back- Oh, shoot! Flop back over to here. I just didn't want to fall off the edge there. There we go. Two mumble tokens, that's an awfully generous reward. <laughs> okay, going up. And this is back where we were at the mine that I said I was going to go and, you know, traverse with the whole rigmarole uh, down these another time. Well, yeah, we're back here. But now I got to try and get over there in an efficient way without triggering the shark to attack me. Well, you know, without it being near me enough. There we go. Alright. No, 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 no. We got a little graphical glitch there. That's okay. By the way, I also think there's something missing here. Um, see, when you go into first person, see how it gets dark like that? You move around, it disappears. But only when you move up and down. When you move in lateral left and right motions, it doesn't disappear. But when you move up and down, it disappears. I don't know why that is, but I found that in my testing of the emulator. And yeah, that's it's pretty weird. Emulators for N64 does not generally do uh, N64 graphics all that well. <laughs> Alright, so now we got ourselves a roundabout trip around the area. Just gotta ground pound these X's. 
And see that? That's a little lockup. And gotta look for the golds now. And by the way, looking for the gold means we gotta find the other X's. Because the X's are in the directions of the arrows. And we gotta follow those arrows all around the world to be able to get the prize. And I'm doing this all at once here. Because I'm gonna basically end uh, about where I need to be to continue on. Uh, you know, across a different way. And there we go. Oh, I missed the center of the X. That's okay. Keep following the arrows. And I didn't... Oh, I shouldn't use the feather there. Uh, but yeah, every time you press the A button, you use a feather. And that... It's kind of, I'm trying to think efficiently here in terms of feather usage. Preferably. Uh, let's see if I can hit this right in the middle. Heck yeah. Woo! Alright. And now there's one over here. And then there's two more after this. Remember I said that it would lead me right back to where I need to be? That is the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. By the way, there's a jiggy that I can get using the left uh, springboard pads there, but I'll probably just end up getting it flying. This is probably a little bit little quicker to do it thusly. Yeah, remember, remember, remember we were up here before? Yeah, this was where that crab was and a bunch of notes were. Never find them. Oh, please. There it is. There's the last X. Boop. There we go. And I'm not going to grab that, actually. There's a little lockup. Yikes. Please open me gently. Okay. I'll, I'll be as gentle as I possibly can. <laughs> Woo! Heck yeah. By the way, I do believe that is all the enemies and stuff that we'll find in the world. So we are good to go in that regard. And now this leads us back over to remember where we were flying around there. Yeah, now I'm gonna go and take a peek see inside these chests just to see what's in there. Notes, very important. Yes, don't forget your notes. Can I get in there before it closes? Yes. Can I get out before it closes? Yes. <laughs> all right, now, ah! You ambusher! <laughs> ah, you stinker! And I actually need to grab some health. <laughs> uh, I might as well go over to here then, because why not? Oh, I wanted to shoot it from a distance. <laughs> there we go. I accidentally pressed down for some reason. I don't know why I did that. It's just what my reflex decided to do. Uh, anyway, now, um, 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 um. Uh, well, you know what? I'll do it the regular way because I'm I'm right here. So why not? Basically, what you're supposed to do is take the left portion route thingy here, go down and upsy doodle, and yeah, you can extend your distance of your spring jumps by doing it this way. And there we go, going up. And this one right here, we can actually do with just a regular jump. But oh shoot, really? But anyway, um. I, v doing it via the regular jump is uh, pretty difficult to do because you got to be outside the pad because otherwise you'll automatically do said spring jump and because I had that sort of issue I'm cheating this <laughs> I'm cheating this just because yes <laughs> flying breaks everything well almost everything so basically, what we're normally supposed to do is use the shock spring jumps to get all the way up to here, and well, I took a shortcut. <laughs> I don't think you wanted me to go through that course all over again, did you? No, I didn't think so, so yeah. Alright, now, remember that other platform thingajigger that was underneath the arch here that was you know was very very descriptive on my part well that actually leads up to an even higher area which I'm going to go and flip-flop through now because I did the great majority of the lower stuff so higher stuff it is now and don't forget to grab this notes there we go yeah oh, 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 oh. there we go <laughs> 92 out of 100 notes making good progress here and uh, also make sure that you go all the way around the perimeter here because there there be treasure well there be treasure you know get in the pirate mood <laughs> uh, I don't remember which one of these trees has a jinjo but there's a jinjo somewhere around here uh, I'm not too concerned about the eggs up oh, there's the jinjo uh, this, this jinjo is on a ledge here so it's not as risky as it looks there we go victory for the 
Gingel Collectors! <laughs> Woo! Heck yeah, one more Jiggy to go, and it's all the way up top of this lighthouse, or windmill. Well, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> nah, it's a lighthouse. Uh, so yeah, I just gotta find my way up there. There's a lower spot here. I'll just shortcut my way up there. Uh, I don't know if I want to shortcut my way all the way up there. Like, maybe I'll skip that shock screen pad there. I just see my way around here. Like, maybe there's... Gonna, uh, camera, please. And because maybe there's some notes. Yeah, there are some notes. Okay, yeah, I would have missed them if I were to use the pad. Don't miss the notes. Got to get those notes. Alright. Now, uh, one of the few places I'll use the beak barge is right here. And hit that switch, and it will... Yep, use the cannon on the outside in Gruntilda's lair. Remember I said to remember the cannon? That's what the cannon is for. There we go. Ecombocom it up and go inside. You'll automatically be teleported right up to the top where the last five notes are. There we go. Heck yeah! 100 notes! And now we'll be able to see the dance that we didn't get to see before because we were in termite mode. Yeah, when you get all the jiggies, you'll be able to see that dance. And I don't recommend that you jump off of here, especially if you're in low health. Because you'll take a lot of fall damage. Just saying. Alright, now, I've got to find the flight pad here. Um, 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 um. Because there's that one last honeycomb piece. Ow! Honeycomb piece. Yeah, I didn't know if I could jump down from there. Can I slide off the ledge? Like, mm, I'm just trying to look for where a flight pad is. My camera's playing mind games with me. Okay, this looks like a good place to hop down. Yay! And I think I'm gonna still take... Oh, okay, I didn't take fall damage. Yeah, if your uh, flapping runs out before you just hit the ground, you'll still take fall damage. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm gonna use the power of a flight pad to try and find my way over to wherever that last honeycomb piece is, and I forgot where it is. Um, by the way, this this thing right here, I'm just going to show you this right now. This is Super Secret, well, there's the extra life there, but this is Shark Food Island. What's the significance of that? Well, just remember that for later. Let's just put it that way. All right, so now I'm going to go around the perimeter and just take a peek see around here in the water, well, around the water and see where a honeycomb might be hanging out. Wait, 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 did that just spawn? Yeah, that just spawned. And this is why I wanted to fly to get it, because it's kind of it's kind of tricky to get, trying to swim there and get back with uh, shark food over there. And also, as long as I'm plopped out over here, why not? Let's get that ecom bokum. <laughs> and now, if I recall correctly, if I recall correctly, one hundred percent! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I don't know why I did it in that voice as my celebration, but it happened. It's too late now. I have to stick with it. It is forever ingrained in the moments of history. And come on, camera, I need to get back to the start here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm done with the world, 100%. And, heck yeah. <laughs> now, since I activated the cannon, I can go up here, and, 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 guess what, guess what, there's another Jiggy for Gratulous Lair, Woo! yeah, yeah, by the way, obviously, Gruntilda's Lair is not a one-part thing, if you couldn't tell, yeah, it's because the Jiggies are scattered all across the world, I might as well get them as I'm going and whatnot, alright, I think... You're good! Attack the crab for a massive damage of its weak points. Sony... Yes, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just joking around here. So with that, I think I'm going to end off... Well, well, mm, well mm, I still got a little bit of extra time here, actually. I'll fill out 15 minutes. So now, remember I said that I was going to go and go through those two, two things later on? Yeah, the sewer pipes. I'm gonna go through the lower one first, I think, I, is the best way to do it. Yes, this is the correct one, um, to do it at least in the best order. Um, there's this dude right here. Over here, uh, there is a mumble token, if I recall correctly. Very well hidden, actually. A lot of people don't find that one. Um, now there's also a, another 
cauldron over here for our future warp shortcuts. So remember that for later. Also, a golden feather. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's normally supposed to do a little dialogue with a with said feather, but I guess it didn't play because the other dialogue was going on. But the next time I get a golden feather, it'll play said dialogue, so that's okay with me. Um. Now, oh, I, I have enough. I have enough notes to open that door, but well, nuts to that for now. <laughs> I'm not going through there, because that's getting close to the World 4, and I like to go to World 3 before I do World 4. Um, over here, hit this switch right off the bat. Yep, makes those pop out of the water. It's kind of well hidden, and that you'll only be able, be able to see it once you jump in the water and then try and come back and whatnot. So you like, you'll, you'll come through here, and it's like, oh. Hmm. That's, that's kind of unfortunate. Can't really, can't really do anything about that. Well... What we can do is a couple of things over here on this side. This is all all blocked off over there for now. That's actually World 3 over there behind the bars. So uh, keep that in mind for later. Okay, I'm gonna flip, flap, flip up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? I hit the buttons in the wrong order. There we go. Z, then A. Not A, then Z. <laughs> Makes a big difference. Grunty wears massive bloomers under that repulsive dress of hers. <laughs> She's also got <clears throat> this nasty pet dog whose name is Ripper. Remember to write these stuff, this stuff down. Our sister sings in her own band. Grunty and the Broomstick Boys. They are awful. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't sound like she's got anything nice to say about her sister. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. No, not really, no. I'm, I'm just kind of wasting them left and right. Um... I wonder if I should save that for later or not. Because this is some... Well, as long as I'm here, I might as well. <laughs> Come on, readjust, readjust. See, this is something to unlock World 4. And, well, I have enough jiggies to do this and unlock World 3, so I might as well. As long as I'm here. Just kind of flop over to here. Yeah, this is the Bubble Gloop Swamp. Whoop! Yeah! Let's put in a Jiggy. We'll get a little tutorial here. I think after you put in a couple... Yes. If you if you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press Z! And now we're learning. Voila! And now we're going to see a little snippet of a part that we have not seen at all before as of yet. <laughs> So yeah, you know, I probably shouldn't have went down in this direction at first, uh, because I actually should have went back to the shock screen pad, but I don't know, I just I just kind of went down this way by, by instinct, I, I mean by reflex, excuse me, I don't know why. It's alright though, all will be well, as long as I use a cut or two. <laughs> so basically what I'd like to do is go back over to that room with the big grunty on the floor, um, and then there's that shock spring pad type thing over there that we can do stuff at. We just go over here now, the left side rather than the right side. Hop up here. Oh, oh, oh. Hop up here, I said. Go up here, and behold, the next world. Why didn't I come here earlier? I don't know. <laughs> Woo! Next world is unlocked! And yeah, that's, that's the thing over there. It's known as Clanker's Cavern. So next part, I'll see you back over at those bars. Well, I should say where the bars once were, but for now, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you then. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on. I would like to show you just once here what happens if you save and quits. Yes, yes. I'll just show you just once. Because it's like, I guess you could say game overing. But you're going to have to quit the game eventually, so you're bound to see this cutscene on your own. I mean, it's, it's very rare that people play through this game all in one sitting, unless it's like a speedrunner or something like that. That's got the whole whole thing thought out and whatnot. You know, the, the most efficient routes. <laughs> oh no! Poor Tui! Uh oh. Uh oh! Oh no! Gantilda has successfully done it! <laughs> That's uh, certainly an improvement, baby. Well, no, nah, the personality's still there. Never mind. <laughs> oh, come on, Mumbo. 
You know better, you know who Grunty's really like. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> okay, and now with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Bye bye! <laughs>